Rod, the concept of a person, common term that we use, but is, is a very technical one. Philosophers use it. Theologians even use it to talk about deity persons. Is God a person? Um, and when philosophers talk about persons, there are very specific kinds of characteristics to define what is a person. You have to have intention, you have to have will, a whole bunch of things that people, so they fight over it, of course. From your perspective, in terms of artificial intelligence and building robots, which clearly are not yet persons, uh, what, what, what can you tell us about your sense of what is a person having created many, at least partial, artificial, almost persons? When we build our robots, there's the physical robot, and then there's the software that's running on them. And this is a, a, a dichotomy that I sometimes think philosophers take too far in pushing it close to humans, but we really do have it in the, in the robot. So for years and years, I'd have a robot in my lab that would look the same. Well, any day I walked up to it, I didn't know what sort of person it was going to be because what had the graduate students <laughs> loaded for the software right now? Uh -huh. And I'd c come with a visitor and say, and this robot reacts this way, does that, and we'd start interacting with the robot and would do something different. <laughs> um, and that was even without the benefit necessarily of experience of the robot, of where it had become uniqueified by its, its ongoing experience. That made it even more different, but just a basic fundamental software load. So maybe that's I like the difference between a different sort of species as an analogy, um, but you can experiment with it. What if we put this module in? What if we take that module out? How does the robot interact with people? What sort of character does it have? And I, you know, you might want to put scare quotes about <laughs> character, but when you're interacting with it, it certainly it feels, feels like that it has a character. Yeah, that, yeah. Uh, and so you have different modules in, in the robot which would create a different kind of person with, 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 uh, with quotes around it. Uh, and, and when you do that and you see that they can be disconnected, you put in one, you take in one, you put in multiple ones, does, that actually says a lot about what we think of persons. We have this kind of artificial sense of, of, of the unity of what we feel. Well, we have that unity because we don't have any technology from taking <laughs> that part out and putting it, translating it to another one. It, it all comes in very much one coupled package. Um, now, of course, there are people who uh, uh, yeah, think brain that they'll be able to download their brain and live forever, or at least hope they yeah, will. Right. Um, I think in principle that's possible, but I think it's unlikely in right. anyone who's currently alive's lifetime. So I think they're all going to die. So ultimately. you believe that that's possible in principle, which means if you had a perfect replication, atom by atom, of your sense of pattern in your brain, and you put that on a, a, a in a different medium, that you would be conscious. Maybe of. you don't even need a perfect. And and I'll take that from you know if strong computationalism is correct, which mm -hmm. I sort of argue against in another way, but right. if it is correct then you know you can have the same program running on a very different machine. Sure, sure. You can it's have a spreadsheet yeah. running on a different architecture and it's indistinguishable. Right, sure. um, so uh, that was always a question with our robots. If you took exactly what they'd learned on one of the robots and put it on another one, would it be indistinguishable or would the, you know, the little tiny differences yeah. in the mechanism of the machine, the mechanics sort of lead to a different character? Um, I think we concluded that we could probably move things around because our, our software was not so attuned to the physics of the particular individual robot. Um, so in principle, I think it could be done for humans, even transferring it to a silicon basis or something, something some other sort, and in the, principle. And there would be, a, 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 and you would be having awareness. And you would have an awareness, which is what all these people who, who are yeah, after uh, eternal right. life want. It's right. Eternal life without awareness is not so interesting. <laughs> right, right, right. You might as well have your photograph in a, in, in, in a, in a museum. So I in your most advanced robots, how many different behavioral modules are there? It, depend, it depends on, on, on how you define a module, sure, sure, sure. Uh, but certainly dozens, dozens, dozens okay. of, of different okay. modules that are running simultaneously and out of that so emerges, as, as the, you know the emerges the character. Okay, and so as you know the state of the art today of the character that emerges based on these dozens of behavioral modules, and you have some sense of, of a human being uh, just by, by, by apprehending internally, 
what do you think the ratio is? Just to be very simple. Oh, it's a very, the ratio is very large. I mean, a, a, a order of magnitude. One in a hundred thousand, a billion? Oh, certainly not a billion. Okay. No, but All right, no. so, we, so get, we're getting hundreds, thousand, you know, uh, more modules, more stuff. Okay. But, but not, not that many. Okay, so yeah. you say, just to pick a number, how does it sound? If, if the, your best robot with dozens of modules today, if you multiply that by a thousand, one thousand, I think that's pl probably plenty. You'll get in. You'll get in the realm of what you would then consider uh, the ballpark of a human person. Yeah. Now we, we got to do a lot of work to, to yeah, develop. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We, we're, we're doing a lot. We, of, we can't uh, just uh, say, you know, three graduate students go do it. Yeah, and, so. I, and, and you have you have to integrate them the right way. I'm just trying to get a sense of yeah. the order of magnitude where you feel we are today in, in robotics versus, because I'm trying to get to an understanding of what the nature of a, of a person is and, and what it would take for you to feel comfortable that you've duplicated that. Yeah, I, I, think, I, think, it's in, I think it's probably less than that, so I'm feeling safe in saying that. So, so, so you've built a one-tenth of one percent of a person, no worse than that. No worse than that. <laughs>